wanted you to be in here when I opened it because without you being in here involved with this, I couldn't have done it. I love you. So, I love you too. You may not think I think about all those things, but I do. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Uh, this is a video. I'm filming on two cameras, so if I start looking around like this, just it is what it is. Chill out. Don't get mad. Don't think I'm staring at aliens because I'm not currently. Anyways, this is a special day, man. Uh, as a lot of y'all know, I started a record label, 31 Records, and I wanted to put some support into the uh, independent music scene. And I didn't know any other way to do it other than maybe help somebody get a release out. And that's what we did. I, I t came across TJ Trainwreck, so shout out to the homie TJ. And uh, I thought he was already like on his way to doing a lot of big things, which I mean, technically, he was still on his way. Just he was a little earlier on the journey than I had realized. So, um, anyways, whatever. We got our delivery today of all of our TJ Trainwreck tapes. Is it on there okay? Okay. Um... So I'm just opening them up. I just wanted y'all to be a part of that. I wanted my wife to be a part of it. Uh, I want to send this to TJ. This is crazy, man. Like I, I did this stuff in my twenties, and I, if you'd have told me five years ago, let's say like right after Hurricane Harvey, hey man, and like a few years you're gonna start another label, I would have probably like just laughed. I would have been like, that doesn't even make sense to me. Of course, five years ago I also thought I was gonna have a comic book shop for, uh, you know, until I died. I, I wasn't planning on doing anything else, but COVID said no to that so we've had a lot of uh bull crap happen for my wife and i so no matter what's going on then we've always kind of managed to make our way through the bull crap anyways enough with the sappy crap dude i'm so pumped right now i saw like i got a dog like pedro started going wild on, on at the door i was like what is he barking at and then i was just like wait a minute it's gotta be the tapes. I was like, it's taking that long. You know, I kind of knew they were in transit. So we got black cassettes here. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, black cassette. Okay. Black cassette. It's noticeably lighter because it's the pre-orders. It's the green cassettes. So I'm gonna crack this open right now. I'm a little nervous to be honest. I don't really know what it looks like. I know what it looks like, but I don't know what it looks like because I haven't seen one in person yet. So I also got some information on CD duplication today because I had somebody else said that they were interested in working with the label, but not necessarily with tapes, but with CDs. I'm cool with that too at this point. I prefer tapes, but I got I like CDs too. I honestly, I'd rather work with both of those mediums than vinyl. Vinyl's so expensive. I'd rather just buy albums from bands I like. Uh, that have to come up with. I can put out two, maybe three releases, full length albums for the same cost on tape or CD almost. They're almost the same price, really, uh, as one seven inch with a pressing of either 100 or 150. Think about that. I can do three full lengths, and I don't mean 50 copies, I mean like 100 plus copies of each one for the same price. So it just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm like kind of nervous. I'm kind of fucking about. <coughs> oh, dude. Oh, this is so, oh. Yo, so this is one of the cool things about owning a small like indie label is you get like situations like this where you get to, uh... yo, these pre-orders are badass, dude. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Let's crack open the black ones too, dude. Yo, ah, cannot wait to work with another. So I have an old band and I'm putting out our thing and I now am much more, you okay? I cough. Uh, I'm much more incentivized to get that show on the road too. Wow, this is crazy. Sorry, I know I'm just jibber jabbering, man. I'm, I'm nervous a little bit and excited. I want to enjoy this, you know? You know, you have once in your life to do things for the first time. Oh, so we got, bro. Like I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of this dude. I hope TJ's as proud as I am. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will be. But uh, okay, so for anybody that's wondering. 
we've got two tapes all right we've got the just the standard order but it's got the green case on it which was by design um but if you look the regular tape is a black tape okay i don't know if you can see it black tape the pre-order though there's only 31 of these the tape's also green just like the case so yeah 31 records is real now it's official we exist uh i have exactly one pre-order left so if anybody wants it um just speak up man it's the same price as the other it's 15 bucks but it does come with a piece of artwork it'll be signed by tj and myself and numbered uh number 31 of 31 is spoken for because i'm keeping that one but uh yeah, so, man, this is crazy, dude. Like, I'm pretty excited right now. I can't wait to send this to TJ. But, yeah, man, this is this is wild. I'm going to have to put these on. I guess not, some of them are going to go on Etsy or whatever. And I, I guess I don't really know where else to put them. I guess I could put them on uh, Discogs, but they don't have barcodes because we're going straight DIY. I didn't want there to be barcodes. I wanted this to be simple, plain, sleek. And that's what it is, man. It's plain and simple. You know what, dude? I'm going to have to open one eventually. Let's crack one open. You want to open one? Ooh. I'm nervous, dude. My hands are sweating right now. Dude, I don't want to tear up something, so let's, uh... I was trying to explain to somebody at work, like, no, dude, they're, like, shrink-wrapped. It comes in, and he's like, oh. I'm like, no, it's, like, a real release. It just doesn't have a barcode, because I think it was, like, the price that I found, and I don't know, this is, this could, I could have... I didn't really look very thoroughly, so the barcodes were, like, a hundred and something dollars just for... And I was like, man, percentage-wise, that's, like, 20% of what I spent to get this going. Not 20%. Like 10 or 15 percent, something like that. Yeah, look at this. Oh, dude, this is so dope. And I got the clear with the green back so that it looked super cool no matter which tape you got. I, I definitely thought a lot about it. I did a lot of looking and, and I just kept messing with it. And I was just like, uh, I just wanted to be thorough i didn't want to make a mistake because i don't have the money to make a mistake if you uh can you see it okay i, I didn't want to oh yeah make a mistake man if it, I, I don't have the funds to do that if i if i mess this up that's three months down the toilet and tj had a lot of faith in me to do this so anyways i'm gonna get up out of here uh i'm freaking out right now actually you know what what am i talking about bro all right, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Let's go. Yo, okay. So like five or six months ago, I literally heard this song on TikTok. Like, think about that. Six months ago, I heard this on TikTok. Now I got a whole release out. That's crazy. Dude. This is bananas. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I'm so pumped right now. <clears throat> and I like I like the way it came out too. Although there's things that I would fix about it if I had a chance. You know me, I'm always trying to improve things, but like very little. Otherwise, and this is like super nice. I really like I like the green ones, dude. How freaking sweet are these? That looks awesome. And too, I'm really happy with the way it came out. Dude, this is so fire. This sounds as good as the CD does. Mm -hmm. Bro, this is so badass. Mm -hmm. Alright, I got things I gotta do tonight, but I just wanted to stop by and show y'all this and document this this is a pretty big day uh for me and my family and tj my friends so uh if you want to do something with your life man it doesn't matter what it is or how old you are or how old you are not i suggest you start working on it um i've been able to do a lot of shit with my life uh none of it solo 
Like, you can't necessarily just go do stuff by yourself, but uh, I love you, baby. Yeah, and baby. I appreciate your support and your help. Um, dude, we did it, man. So now it's on to the next one, man. If anybody's interested in jumping on the label, and we're only going to be doing cassettes and CDs for the time being until I can save up enough money to just comfortably put out a you know, $1,500 item. Um, but, yeah. This shit's wild. I'm, I'm out of here, guys. I'll see y'all later. Peace, 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 peace. All right.